Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another Zero Terror episode and uh, yes, I'm actually going to start off this one not by doing bossing but by doing some profitable agility. Now, the Hallowed Scepter is very interesting because I did one run now and I got nine Hallowed Marks which is actually pretty good and I am only 72 agility and it was basically the first time I ever did it. And you can actually make some decent money from this if you open as many of the chests in the agility course that you can. And so it's going to be very interesting to see how much money I can make from this. One run, by the way, gave me 3.4k agility experience. So hopefully we can get some good experience as well as profits. Now, if you don't know how this works, these are the chests that I am looking for. And this one gave me two hallowed marks and two grimy Raynars. And uh, most of the time you get like 20k as the loot. Sometimes you get more than that. You can get two Raynar seeds. I actually got one of those and that's like 100k. So the loot can be pretty decent. But where the huge money comes is at 92 agility. Which is obviously 20 levels away, but that's when you can complete the 5th floor. And when you do that, you get a big chest in the end. And that has a 1 in 200 chance of giving you an endurance ring. That is worth 62 million right now. So, 92 agility could actually be a pretty decent money maker, which is very interesting. I think this is, if you have that and you can do it efficiently, is around 3.5 million profits an hour. Assuming that you're on the drop rate. So that is pretty cool actually, and I would love to get my agility up, even though it's a really slow skill. I think this thing is really really fun to do, and also if you can get that much profit from it, I would actually really enjoy doing this, but let's open this chest now and you will see an example of a loot. Let's successfully open that and I got one prey potion, but I also got four hallowed marks and these are obviously extremely good because you can get stuff to use inside of this to make it more efficient. So I already got a mysterious page before, but they are not that rare, they're 1 in 10 and I'm pretty sure it's some completionist thing, so I guess this is for the collection log in this area so you need to get five of them to complete it and that is my second one by the way uh, if you don't know how it looks when you fail one of these courses this is how it goes you run here and then you get hit and then you pretty much just get teleported back to the same spot you were already in my first purchase is going to be with 100 hallowed marks the grapple because when this happens it is a pain now. Now let's actually hope that I do fail it. Yep, I did. So you see, now I just have to wait and now I can click it again. So if I have the hallowed grapple, which I will buy at 100 marks, which is very close, I will never be able to fail that. Time to make that first purchase. The hallowed grapple has now been purchased, so I'll just equip it instead of my normal mithril grapple and get back to it. So while opening all these chests, I am getting around 28,000 agility experience per hour, which is not that good actually. And I think actually doing all that is taking up a lot of my experience that I could be gaining. So I'm actually right now going to just try like an hour without opening them at all. Because as I said, the massive money you can get is at 92 agility and if I can faster get to that point, I'm not going to get 92 agility in this video, but if I can get faster to that point where I can make the massive amount of money, that might be a better move at this point. So without opening the chests, I'm getting roughly 45,000 agility experience per hour, so whenever I do go here all the way until 92 agility, which uh, probably is a bit far off in the future, but I'm not sure, we will have to see. Uh, I will probably do this without opening the chests, it's probably just not worth it until 92 agility. But making any progress towards it is really, really nice. Another agility level 74 and with that I am just going to complete this one and then I'm going to take a break from agility. It is very slow, it's currently about 3 hours per level so even though this is technically the fastest way of getting agility experience, it is still very slow. Got invited to do some trios, so we got 7 kills done, I actually got MVP in every single one of these, so I'm getting pretty decent at it, and the last drop is going to be U-Logs, and unfortunately one of the trios died, so we had to finish it as duo, but 7 kills in one session is alright. 
A boss I've barely killed is Venenatis and it is very profitable if you can learn how to do it and it's not that risky either because it's actually in a solo PK area, single target zone. So uh, if I can learn how the safe spot actually works it uh, would be a very good money maker so let's try and do that. So I do think the safe spot is actually easier than I anticipated. Uh, I did screw it up a couple of times with the first kill rune 2 age and then I pretty much just stand on this spot right here. You can look at all the marked tiles I have. I stand here and then as soon as Venenatis puts a foot on either this one or this one, I wait one game take so just like a very short amount of time and then I click on it. And uh, after that I don't have to do anything. So let's see if that actually works now. You have to have Prey Magic on the entire time, otherwise it will screw it up. I might screw this one up as well. So now it looks at me, now I wait just a small amount. And then it walks in, let's see if I screwed it up or not. And there it should stay, and I think it's safe spotted, so that's how easy it is. I didn't get it on recording, but I did die once, and uh, I lost my Nades Not Helmet and some charges in my Crafts Bow. It's not too bad, I lose like 200k if I die, and it was like on the first kill of the trip, so I didn't really lose any loot from the boss either. But I have seen two PKers come in here now as well, and I escaped one more time. So, in general, there's actually quite a lot of PKers here right now, and it's even like 9 in the morning, so I'm surprised about that, but hopefully I will be able to get some kills in peace from now on. Let's see what the loot's going to be for this kill, number 30. 200 blood runes, pretty decent. Pretty good trip, I actually got no PKers this time, and I got a total of 520k loot, so let's bank and go again. Oh, that is a really good drop. Uh, 500k, 60 onyx bolts, that is probably one of the best drops you can get except for a dragon pickaxe. I don't want to risk too much and I have a looting bag right now of, how much is that? Almost 900k, so I'm just going to bank now, I think that is the uh, best thing to do. Got a lot of supplies drop there, you can see in the end I got dark crabs and super stores, I mean I could technically stay for a long time. But uh, I don't want to risk it. So if you're wondering, I am actually killing Venonades in a multi-zone. I am just on the edge of it, so I am standing in multi right now. But if I run over here, it is single target PKing area. But why I'm doing what I'm doing is I'm just standing here with my mouse on the logout button. Whenever I see a white dot anywhere that seems like a PKer, I just instantly log out and I am fine. Let's see what the loot is. Room pickaxe. That is the wrong pickaxe. Last kill of this trip. Let's see what we get. Ooh, red spider's egg. That is a very good last drop. Let's just instantly teleport to GE. And let's see what this trip gave me. Let's check the looting bag. How much is that? 790k. Not bad. Okay, dude, really? I get attacked by this level 107 in the Mystic's robe as soon as I leave the corporeal beast room. If I die to this guy, I am actually so sad. I mean, there is like no way I'm actually dying. In before a whole team logs in and just one-shots me. I I'm gonna take a gander that I'm going to be pretty fine. Okay, well, it does seem like uh, that was not that big of a deal. Now I did start with 3kz and I'm now over 100, but on my counter, which I'm going to take up here just a second, I've only done 93 kills where I got loot, and the reason to that is because sometimes I already hit the boss to like this HP, then I have my mouse here and I see a PK login, I instantly log out and then someone else kills my boss in this world later on and that counts for my KC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 100 kills on my tracker and then we're going to be done with the boss for a while. And the kill just after that, <laughs> Onyx Ball Tips, that's a very good ending to that trip. And there we go, that is 100 kills done on Venonades and the average drop without a single Dragon Pickaxe it's about 58k as you can see, and the supplies that you use for Venonades is fairly cheap I would say, it's mostly the restores and of course the ether in your crafts bow. And so I would say that I probably made a decent amount of money, but not a massive amount, and 100 kills took a bit of time, it wasn't a massive engagement. But I would say that I probably made like 3.8 million, I probably used 2 million in supplies. And of course if you die you lose around 300k in the current setup that I am using. You don't have to bring Barrow's Gloves, they are 120k I think, or 150k, not sure. 
that you just lose whenever you die. So you can also just bring a black D van braces, but I wanted the extra range bonus just for faster kills. So I would say it's a pretty decent boss, but of course if you get that dragon pickaxe, let's actually have a look together what it's actually worth. So let's have a look at the dragon pickaxe. It is 4.5 million, so it actually has dropped quite a lot in price because I do think it was 6 million when I got the last one from the Chaos Elemental. So it has dropped in price a bit, but of course if I would have had a Dragon Pickaxe there, that would have been a total of 10 million, which would be 100k per kill, which is not bad. I reset the counter on my rune light for all the loot and we're actually going to do some slayer now because I actually want to have an opportunity to level some of my combat stats that are very close to 99, for example defense and especially magic. And if I get any tasks that are very good on bosses, profit wise and all that, I will definitely do that and still incorporate some bossing into the slayer, but I want to see how high I can actually get the value of the total loot on my rune light client when I'm done with the slayer grind. As I've said in previous videos, the uh, cave horrors never disappoint. Extremely early into this task, already 900k profits. Okay, well, my luck here is officially just broken. By the way, I just see now it's 685k. Last time I got these, which was not that long ago, they were 850k, so... Yeah, not 900k profit from one drop, 685k. That is such a dip in value. I don't even know why that happened. Yeah, of course, why not? Third black mask, 86k left, easy profits. I have said that every time I get Sarachnis, I'm going to do it. So 35 kills it is. Let's see if we can get that cudgel. There we go, last kill of the task done. Let's see what the last drop is going to be as well. Oh, that is a lot of items. Uh, well, actually not a lot of substance though. Just some food and a grubby key, but uh, let's go and get a new task and uh, actually in this clip I just want to say I would love to hear what bosses you would like to see in the next video Because if there is a boss that most of you guys want to see I can actually go over what I want to do Also when I kill the boss like what gear is good to use and why I use it and how I kill the boss so if there is any boss that you would love to see now that I am pretty much free reign to do whatever I want to do just as long as it makes decent money, then I am definitely up for it. Like one task ago, I unlocked vampires and I already got one. Sweet. Unless I get a blood shard on this one, I did not get one this task, but it was a very quick and easy task. Definitely going to do this task every time I get a chance to. I mean, as I've had incredible luck with Kriara, I am definitely going to do 35 of that boss and I uh, just have to get some ecumenical keys and let's hopefully get a drop. Oh my god, the luck continues. I actually think, wait, is this the third or the fourth arm middle hilt? I will have to look up that after this trip, but okay, uh, 277kc and that is at least my third hilt. Uh, yeah. Four Armadillo Hilts. Uh, that is pretty insane. 280 kills completed collection log with four hilts. Pretty insane. That's the 35 kills done. I had to go to the wilderness and get some more ecumenical keys. So in total I used five for 35 kills, which is not too bad. If I actually do the hard wilderness diary, I can keep all the way up to five keys instead of three. So I don't have to go back every time I get a 35 Kriara task. But we made pretty much 10 million from this because of that uh, insane hilt drop. Not a smoke devil task, but 35 thermonuclear smoke devils I can do, so uh, let's get that done. And by the way, I don't have that many slayer points left, I have 39, so I might be stopping the slayer grind in just a bit. In case I get really unlucky with tasks, I'm just going to stop. But I have made so far, let's actually go into the uh, loot tab and see how much I've made in total. I have made... 18.1 million in loot. Of course, a lot of that comes from the Armadillo Hilt, pretty much half of it, or almost exactly half of it. But 18 million from Slayer is not too bad. That is not a task I want to see. The Dragon Warhammer has actually dropped quite a lot in price. It's like 47 mil right now, it used to be at least over 55 million. And uh, I don't really fancy killing the Lizardman Shaman, so I'm just going to stop doing Slayer for now. And I made a total of 18.6 million from Slayers. I would say that's pretty good. Let's have a quick look at these slides before we end the video. Of course I added some Sarachnis KC, some Nightmare KC and some Kriara KC on the first tab. 
And for the second one, the big one, 107 Venenatis KC now, and just 35 Thermonuclear Smoke Devil KC. Now that is going to do it for this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe to the channel to make sure you get notified when I do post them. Also, something I just want to say before I end the video is that uh, the slides that I show at the end of the video, I'm a bit scared that it gets a bit too repetitive if I haven't actually killed that many bosses. I guess now that the series is all about boss killing, it will be more, well, relevant, I guess, to post them every time. But I'm also thinking that maybe I will just uh, show them every second video or every third video just to, in a larger scheme, update you guys on what my kill count is. So I don't actually have to spend like 20 seconds every outro to show them. So if you guys want to give me some feedback on that, please let me know. But until next time, have a good one.